Do you want to play Perimeter Man Divas but are scared you might get put on roller skates? Well today I'm going to help you out. In part one of our three part defensive tutorial series, I'm going to go over how to improve your on ball man defense and not become a turnstile on the perimeter. What makes playing perimeter defense a challenge is because since there's such a wide variety of players, you can't really play them all the same. So while sagging off will help prevent Russell Westbrook from driving to the hoop, playing that way against Steph Curry, well, you know what happens. So I'm going to go over what you have as a defender at your disposal to take away the shots they want and the ways to go about it. First, I'm going to go over how you can move with your player. Which while there are a couple ways to, I'm going to have you focus on the two you will use most often. The first being the fast shuffle, which keeps your body squared to your matchup while moving laterally. And secondly is the quick step cutoff, which can only be used when you're in a standstill position and its purpose is to well cut off the angle your opponent is trying to take. Which means it can get from point A to point B a lot faster than the fast shuffle would, but don't expect to chase somebody around the perimeter using it. And both of these tie into one of the most important ratings for your defender, which is lateral quickness. Which gauges how fast your defender can move side to side. So guys with lower ratings, even if you use fast shuffle, move their feet much slower than say a Tony Allen, whose ability to change directions on the dime makes it harder for his opponents to break free. Now you can't apply anything I just went over if you don't understand angles and how the offensive player uses them to attack you. Because driving to the hoop is all about getting a good angle on their matchup, it's important as a defender to have a consistent depth while mirroring your opponent's movement with the fast shuffle. Think of it like there's a line behind you and you move across it wherever your opponent goes. Because if you aren't consistent in your position then you can very easily give up a drive to the hoop if your opponent moves sideways long enough. If done right, you should collide with the player once he gets close enough and when it does happen, stop moving and wait for his next move or else you'll fly right by him once the animation is over. And being so close, you take away the crossover back the other way because your body positioning has taken away the space he would have to do it, so the ball will hit off your body. Leaving his only options being to drive the same side the ball is already on or behind his back, which is when you can attempt to go for a steal. Now let's use the previous example of Westbrook. Since he's known for attacking the paint and not so much shooting, by sagging off of him we give ourselves better angles to defend him shall he drive towards the hoop. Now if you're in his face, the margin for error is a lot smaller if you make a mistake. That only guys like Tony Allen or Kawhi Leonard because of their lateral quickness can get away with playing consistently and live to tell about it. Now your opponents won't always be clear in their intentions and will attempt to size you up first to get you off balance. When guys attempt to do this, it's very easy to react to every little movement he makes and once that happens, you're his before he even takes a step. So it's key to stay patient and remain in your stance because despite the show he's putting on, he hasn't gone anywhere yet. But when he does commit, you want to utilize the fast shuffle or quick step cutoff to marry him. But be aware of the potential for an attempted crossover and that's where the defender's lateral quickness is key. If your opponent attempts to cross you, you simply fast shuffle right down the line to realign with your opponent. And depending on how high your lateral quickness rating and how close you are to your opponent determines how successful you are. But if you do get beat and your opponent now has the angle on you, you still have options. You can sprint to the spot you assume he's going to and meet him there to force a jump shot when he thought he had an easy layup. Or get a steal. Or check if your help defense picks him up which gives you the opportunity to get interceptions by simply switching to the next open man or close out on an otherwise open jumper. Most of all, playing man defense is about concentration and being alert. There's no better feeling than completely suffocating your opponent and forcing him into a bad shot because it wasn't the computer, it was you that made him do that. And that's why we play video games after all, right? Alright guys, stay tuned for part 2 of our defensive tutorials where I go over low post defense. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching.